All right, welcome to another video on domain. So this video I'm going to go through the even problems on the domain page number two or part two. I forget exactly how I named it. Um, so we're going to be looking at domain from a function and seeing what we can do to find those values that need to get thrown out of the domain. So if I slide on down to problem number two here, so things I look for, uh, clearly I have a square root and I need to pay attention to it. So what I want to look at is the expression under the square root, so x minus 5. And in this particular problem, this is just okay to be negative, uh, no, it's okay to be positive and it's okay to be zero because seven plus zero is fine and seven plus some kind of a positive number here would be fine as well. So I want to say that this expression has to be greater than or equal to zero, which means that X has to be greater than or equal to five. Uh, if you need a number line to see it, go ahead and draw it. We've got a critical value of five. Greater than or equal to means I'm gonna have a bracket at five and I will be shading to positive infinity. So that means my interval here would be from five to infinity. Uh, the reason I got to do that particular one, and that's the only thing, there's no fractions in this problem, there's nothing else that's gonna cause my domain to have any issues. So that problem is done. Uh, any value from five to infinity will make that work just fine. All right, taking a look at number four here, all right, I always look for square roots. I don't have any square roots in this problem. Second thing I'm gonna look for is denominators. And clearly I have a denominator here. So I'm gonna take this denominator, I am going to factor it. All right, so x minus two, x plus two. And there's a couple things you could do. You could just look at it and say, well, what number or what value would make this factor equal to zero? And that's something that I have to throw out of the domain. And do the same thing over here. If you want to be a little bit more um, explicit with it, you could take each expression. So x minus two is one of your factors here and say that that cannot equal zero. And x plus two cannot equal zero. So x cannot equal two, x cannot equal negative two. So if you like the number line, let's go ahead and draw that out. Our two critical values would be negative two and two. And basically, every number in the whole wide world is okay, except we have to throw out two, or negative two there, and we have to throw out positive two. So interval, negative infinity to negative two, union negative two to two, union two to infinity. So yes, you need all three of those, okay? There's three little inter individual intervals, and all three of them need to be included as part of your answer, all right? So what this interval says is everything works from negative infinity to infinity, except negative two here and positive two here. All right, so that's number four. Let's go ahead and slide on down to number six. Okay, so number six, things to look for. Square root, check, we have a square root. Now there's no fraction associated with this square root, so I'm just going to take the expression, x, uh, this is two minus x, and this cannot equal zero. So I am just gonna flip this x to the other side, and that would tell me that two cannot equal x. Okay, fine. Uh, nope, I did that completely wrong. Hold on a second. <laughs> Back up, okay, <laughs> this is a, we're gonna apologize first, I'm sorry. So this is a radical, which means it's not that it can't equal zero, it's that it needs to be greater than or equal to zero. I'll figure this out eventually. All right, so I'm still gonna flip the x over. So two is greater than or equal to x, which is a little bit weird, but if it helps you, you can actually flip the whole inequality around. So x is less than or equal to two. And basically, if you think about that in terms of pick your values that are less than two. Let's say we pick one. So if I go up here, two minus one, well, that's one, square root of one. Yeah, that works, okay, fine. Let's say we pick a value greater than two, mm, four. Two minus four, 
we got some problems here because 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And the square root of negative 2 is an imaginary answer, which is a problem when we're talking about domain. So on the number line here, now that I actually have the inequality, not the not equal to part, sorry about that, uh, critical value is 2. X is less than or equal to 2, so we've got the bracket for the equal to, and you're going to shade towards negative infinity. So the interval would be negative infinity to 2 with a bracket. Let me actually try and draw that bracket a little bit sharper. There you go. All right, so please don't do what I did at the start. You know, if it's a, uh, if it's a denominator, it's not equal to. If it is a square root here, uh, you want to make sure it's either greater than or equal to zero or just greater than zero, depending on the problem. All right, let's see if I uh, can get the last one here, problem number eight. Uh, so things I look for, I need to look for square roots. I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about that. I do need to worry about my denominators. And in this case, you heard the plural there, I have two of them. So in this first fraction, I know that my denominator cannot equal zero. So x cannot equal zero. Well, that's just what it is. It is done already. For my second denominator, x plus one cannot equal zero, which means x cannot equal negative one. So these are the two values that I need to throw out of the domain. Okay, so if we think about our number line, we have a critical value of negative 1, we have 0. So everything is fine, right? It's all shaded except negative 1 exactly and 0 exactly. So negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to 0, union 0 to infinity. All right, so this should be the end of part two. That was all the even problems. If you take a look at the other video, it has all the odd questions in it. And I hope this has helped with figuring out how to find some of these domains when you are given functions.